Okay, so recording. So, so a question on sort of um, identity crisis and feeling, you know, uh, identity profiling and coming up with different profiles. Um, also, you know, being in a, re a religion and getting the message of um, not to use other other paths or other types of um, avenues for spirituality as they you know the, the other ones may, are, are, are wrong or may lead to uh, going to the wrong place so, and having guilt and how do you sort of become free of all of this stuff well for me the uh, the freedom one of the things is to recognize that um, one has within oneself uh, you know like Say I was in a in a church for a few years, and they were saying every day, like if you do this thing, then you're going to hell, and if you do that thing, uh, it's going to be very bad consequences. You you start to develop what I'd call al almost like sub personalities, you know, these personalities which almost become like little identities within oneself. Now, if you take that into past lives, you know, you might go to a Christian group, then you might go to you know a temple. Then you might go off. You may have had. Um, oops, I'm just going to mute this here. And um, then you may have um, other things. And these become almost different phases of your life, different jobs, different cultures, different countries. So all of these, uh, you can almost like develop what I call um, uh, sub personalities, which can become in conflict with each other. You know, like uh, I might go to a church and think that, uh, I don't know, what, what could I be doing? I could be doing, um, I could be practicing something that's not, not, you know, that's not good for me. You know, I'll be doing something that's not going to give me salvation. I could go, I could join, um, I, could, I could also have recollections or leanings from a past life in which I was a Buddhist and where I want to just be um, meditating under a tree or something for my, the rest of my life. So... Then I start to, get, and all these different, what I call sub-personalities or subsets or different, um, almost like entities within myself, start, you know, having what I call either conscious or unconscious conflict, you know, with each other. Uh, you know, like uh, I should eat animals, I should not eat animals. Um, I should, uh, it's good to do yoga, it's bad to do yoga. Uh, or one part of me is it's good to be in this group, it's not good to be in this group, or... There might be deeper motivations that want to be in one group and another motivation from another aspect of the psyche that wants to be in another group. Uh, it's good to recycle. It's not, you don't need to recycle. So, so we get what's called, um, you know, conflicts or dualities or positionalities or, um, uh, and all kind of, also there are certain things which are part of the collective consciousness certain ages and certain cultures in certain ages also there's certain body programmed at certain ages whereby you might get things like midlife crisis you know which may for you be at a certain age it's almost like a belief system that triggers hitting 40 40 years old means you're going to have your body your, your body starts having programs various uh, body systems hormonal things may switch on or you may have heard programs that everyone at 40 goes through a crisis or you know I've definitely heard things like I mean I had judgments like once you're over 30 now <laughs> 30 and 50 once you're over 30 you're over the hill so all of these belief systems um, and um, you know definitely like it's not you know like it's not good to kill another person it's not good to you know break the ten commandments uh, whatever that is and all kinds of so almost like these different conflicting belief systems and sub personalities and conscious and unconscious conflicts and positionalities and i would say there's even more complicated there's past life stuff coming in which can create a conflict from this lifetime to leanings from another. Yeah, all these deeper motivations that's you know in inner intuitions that don't agree now or as you do spiritual work, what you thought was good is no longer good. You know, as you as your consciousness evolves, um, you know, um, you also got to understand, like when you're in addiction and in fear, you're attracted to different types of spiritual groups. You're attracted to different types of people. You're tr you, you become more attracted. You may be more attracted to fear-based controlling 
uh, groups for spirituality, for hobbies, for classmates. And uh, when someone says to you something from another level of consciousness, it be, it's repellent. Like, I would never do that thing. You know, I like, I like my group where we have hundreds of rules and I feel safe. Your, your, your group, you know, it's like there's nothing there. You ought to go nuts in your group. So, and that's not wrong or right at that level of consciousness. But sometimes you, you go to the next group and that seems the right thing, but you carry the sub programs and the level of consciousness and the conflicts from that into your new sort of area and development in life. So there becomes a conflict between what you, what you seem to be becoming now and what you were before. Or you might you know, get, a, you know, get a new uh, job or country or whatever, and you start to develop these conflicts from collective programs uh, there are different age programs. You know, old, old people don't go to rave clubs. You know, if suddenly you want to be, go to a rave club and you're 80 years old, you know, it's like, uh, you know, you have a conflict because it's like your teenage personality and your 80 year old personality now have a, have different, you know, the internal conflict. So how do you resolve all of this religious conflict uh, thing? and resolve all the different levels of consciousness and resolve all the different lifetimes you've had and all the different leanings. Um, and if you're going through a midlife crisis, that's another set of uh, conflicting personalities. So how do you resolve and clarify all of this stuff? Well, it's actually quite simple. Um, but going on to this thing, you know, it's like wherever you're at, you'll be under the influence of your level of consciousness, your perception, of what's right and wrong. And you may be having conflicting subsets of things going on internally and externally from where you are and what you're aligned with. So you can um, cancel beliefs, you can sit with feelings, you can pray to see things in truth, you can pray for God's right intuition, right inspiration, right action. Uh, you can try and connect to the, the best possible mentor or guide that you feel resonates with you as being the highest level of truth for you to get feedback from. Um, so God may come, God's voice may come to you internally or externally through others. Um, the conflicts, I mean, what I would do, um, uh, I always do um, aligning myself. If I'm, uh, if I see something as being uh, faulty programs, um, but you can have a lot of check. You can do. I would, could spend a lot of time praying. Like, am I willing to let this thing go? And I could be wrong. You know, is it um, is it uh, wrong to eat animals, for example? If I had this thing, is wrong to is, is it good? Is it okay to eat animals? Is it not okay to eat animals? Uh, am I going to be struck by lightning if I eat an animal, or am I not? And I could have conflicting programs with that. So, if I'm not sure, probably best to do the safe thing for the time being and pray and meditate. Uh, sit with the feelings, uh, you know, am I at a low level of consciousness right now? Am I seeing things through filters of fear and and limiting ideas and beliefs? Can I cancel, you know, I always think it's okay to cancel the belief systems I've been programmed with because I'll only be left with inner intuition and guidance, not my limited programs, which I've been told. If you do this, you're bad and you're going to help. Well, let me cancel that and place that into God's infinite light and love and uh, speak to mentors and align myself with the highest spiritual uh, groups and teachings and people and uh, uh, sit on it for a while and keep praying on it for a while. And, uh, but, you know, I like, I particularly like the, what I call the uh, enlightenment approach of transcendence to internal conflict. So that's my thing. You can do the 12 step, step 10 and, and sponsors thing as well, if you want to, but, um, you know, I can only experience a conflict if I have a limiting program in mind, you know, like a limiting program, a limiting idea, like, now, you know, like I might have a thing like to kill people is bad. Uh, probably that's a useful one to have for general society, like do not kill other people, you know. Um, and uh, when I'm at a low level of, I believe that when I'm at a low level of consciousness, if I'm told, if I'm full of fear and I've got full of anger and I like killing people, being told by society, society, do not kill and you go to prison or do not kill and you're going to hell, I think is actually quite useful because I, I haven't got the consciousness or a connection to the infinite realm of guidance within me. I haven't got a connection to the infinite heart. So actually people telling me like, if you're angry, don't kill them 
or you go to jail or you go to hell is probably quite useful for me at that stage of my development. So these belief systems I get programmed with may serve a benefit at that level of consciousness. But as I start to evolve, um, you know, and I've been I've been told like do not kill. I mean, take this obvious one, which I think everyone will agree with. You know, I mean, don't go and murder people. Um, so um, I would now, if it's causing me conflict, I mean that's a silly example, isn't it? But I'll I'll, I'll show. It. But whatever the conflict is, I can I'd say it's safe to cancel my belief that I've been programmed with do not kill. So I'll just uh, keep canceling. I'll place it into God's infinite light and love. My dad might have said it to me, my church might have said it to me, my culture may have said it to me, the law may have said it to me, policemen may have said it to me. I'll cancel it, I'll place it all until that, that, that limiting program does not exist for me, until I cannot even, it doesn't register for me. I don't have that software or the programming of, of society in me any longer. And as, so long as you know, the proviso that I'm now connected to my heart and to God, I don't need to be have that program causing conflict in me every day and causing guilt in me. I will intuitively and from my heart know that, you know, okay, there's a there's a guy, he stepped on my toe, am I going to kill him or not? You know, it's like my heart and my guidance or God's guidance will, will direct me. So this is the thing. So for me, it's safe to let go of all conflicting programs as long as you, not safe to let go of conflicting programs if you're at a low level of consciousness because you need society and religion to give you the, those programs because you're too dumb to have a connection to the infinite at that level of consciousness so but i i pursue enlightenment so enlightenment and transcendence means if there's any conflict or duality or positionality that creates pain in you then you can transcend it until it doesn't exist if you have a limiting program or a fear-based program or you've been told what to do, you can safely cancel it if you're seeking enlightenment. Well, safely is probably the wrong word. I mean, if you're like, uh, if you're at a low level of consciousness, actually do listen to your church and to, to the law. But um, but uh, but I go for like, I as I pursue God, you know, I've done a lot of spiritual work. I don't want to sound egotistical or anything, but, you know, it's like I, I'm now at a stage in my spiritual evolution where I want no conflicts um, I do not believe that there is such a thing as a midlife crisis. God did not create it. It does not exist. I do not agree. I do not believe I, any limiting belief that any religion or any society or any parent uh, or anybody wants to give me. I cancel it. anything that comes up within me, which I'm not aware of when, when I got programmed or what lifetime I got programmed. If I become aware of it, it's causing guilt in me. I'll cancel it. I'll sit with my feelings of guilt, fill them out. Why? Because I believe there's a source of inner intuition a source of heart, which is collective in beyond, you see, only the sub personalities or the individuality can have conflict. But there's a thing of like, my personality has a conflict with God, I, I feel separated from God. So I cancel that. I'm not separated from God, I cancel my belief in that. Um, I have a belief I'm separated from society, I have a belief I'm separated from others, I can cancel all of that. So as you do this, you're cancelling all dualities, all positionalities, and all conflicts, all sub-personalities, I'd cancel them out. All conflicts from uh, different spiritual groups, I'd cancel them out and pray for that inner guidance or wisdom. Now, there is a time when you shouldn't do that, when, when you're really low in consciousness, where you should just follow the law and follow uh, your wise elders in your spiritual group. But, um, but uh, in truth, there is no such thing as a personality conflict. That is a limited program that does not exist at the highest levels of truth. Anyway, I shall stop recording now. Um.